butt. Ro, ro, ro your butt. Gentle down the stream. Gentle down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. But life is not a dream. How are you little angels? It's a teacher, an ansieta. Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. Now, we have done measuring. And I, before we started anything, before I introduced this lesson, I remember telling you what is measuring. When, hear, when someone asks you what is measuring, what is to measure, what is measurement? What did I say? I said measuring is finding a number to represent the size of anything. And we can measure water, we can measure cooking oil, or you don't know, sugar, we can measure salt. What else can we measure? Yes, continue, juice, I knew. You people, you love juice. What else can you measure? Cooking flour. Do you know the maize flour is measured? The wheat flour is measured? Yeah, what else? Petrol. Very nice. What else is measured? Even the jig we use in the house. Even the dettol you use in the house. It is measured. And for now, we only want to know what is the measuring, the measurement of length. And we said length is measuring, measuring from one side to the end. When I'm just told, measure the length of this blackboard. I'll measure. And what is length? You know we've used this word length, but I'm sure most of you does not, doesn't know the meaning of the word length. Length means long side. Length means the long side. When I'm given, this is our blackboard. Tell me something about this blackboard. This blackboard has four sides. And we have two long side and two short side. So when you hear the word length, length represents the word long. And how do we call this short side? Someone tell me something. How do we call the short side? Huh? I will tell you in the next lesson what this short side, this short, short side, it's the, how wide something is. And wide comes with the word width. Width. How wide something is. Have you seen how wide something is? Teacher, you have mixed capital letters and I'm very sorry. It's width. Wide. You rub and there, wide. So, for example, look at our blackboard. Look at this side, these sides, from here to here, and compared with this one and this one. This is how long the blackboard is, and this is how wide the blackboard is. When I, when I do like this, it is how long my hands I ca can, can go. But when I do like this, it is how wide they can occupy. Are we together? How long they can go and how wide they can occupy. Now, when you talk about measuring length, what can you see on my table? We have a, a pen and a, and a stick. And we want to compare we want to measure the size of this table. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. They have said we measure the size of the long side and the size of the short side using the pen. Now we go one, two, three, four. So, when you're told, write the short, let's see, the short side equals to, how many pencils did we measure? Four pens. Are they four or five? Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. 
Let's see the long side using a pen. Long side using a pen. We said we start from the farthest end and we don't leave gaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, and something small. So we can say six pens. Good. Now let's use, this is using the pen. Let us see the long side and the short side using the, the stick. Hey, using the stick, let's see the short side. One, two. The stick measures two sticks. The short side measures two sticks. Let's see the long side. The long side is one, two, three. So it is approximately three sticks. Now, the question is, the question comes and says, if the longer side using a stick gives us three sticks and the shorter side using a stick gives us two sticks. The long side using the pen is four pens. And the, the short side using a pen is four pens and the long side using a pen is six pens. So they're asking, which one is long between the pen and the stick? Which one is longer between the pen and the stick? When you compare, look at the long side. If long side gives us six pens, and when you use a stick, the long side gives us three sticks. Which one has taken long to give us the correct? The answer, it is, we have taken long when we're measuring using the pen. So when they ask, which one is short? Which one is shorter? What would you say? Which one is longer? Which one is longer? Want to see the answers for these two questions? Between the stick and the pen, which one is longer? So when you look at our answers, we realize that, what do we say? The shorter one is the pen. And the shorter one, the longer one is the stick. So the stick is longer than the pen or the pen is shorter than the stick. Now, another question is, the longer side of the table is dash sticks. The longer side of the table is dash sticks. How many? Three sticks. Then another question says, the shorter side of the table is dash pens. The shorter side of the table is dash pens. The shorter side is four pens. Very good. Yes, Oscar. The longer side of the table is dash pens. The longer side of the table is dash pens. How many pens? Six pens. Very good. Now, Janet, the shorter side of the table is dash sticks. How many sticks are they? There are two sticks. So what can you say? The pencil is shorter, the, rule, the stick is longer. Now, when you go home, I want you to measure the sides of your dining table. One, using a spoon, and two, using mommy's belt. Are we together? We have said we are measuring the size of the dining table. Using what? One, Janet, spoon, and two, using mommy's table. Teacher, which spoon? We use the serving spoon. Don't use the tea spoon. Are we together? Now, up to there. Have you now understood when we are talking about the rules of length, you start from the farthest end. Don't overlap. Don't overlap. And when you're measuring, don't leave spaces 
for accuracy. And when you're measuring, you choose the correct thing to use. That's why I'm saying, don't use some dining tables are big. So imagine if you use a spoon, you'll stay there the whole day. That's why I've said, you use the serving spoon. Serving spoon is at least longer than the tea spoon. So when you measure that dining table, find out which one between the your mommy's belt and the serving spoon is shorter and which one is longer. And how many belts <coughs> will give you the longer side of the table? And how many belts will be the shorter side? And how many serving spoons will be for the longer side? And how many serving spoons will be for the shorter side? It was nice having you around. And I hope you join me in the next lesson as we continue this measuring of length. So many things are remaining we need to measure in class. Do you know that? Hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.